Hello, in this video we're going to talk about the chain rule. Suppose z equals f of xy is a differentiable function of x and y where x equals g of t and y equals h of t are both differentiable functions of t. Then z is a differentiable function of t and dz dt equals the partial derivative of f with respect to x times dx dt plus the partial derivative of f with respect to y times dy dt. Okay, so I'd like to give you an, an idea of how you can remember this formula. If you begin with z at the top of the paper, z is a function of x and y. And that's given to us right here in the problem. Also, we're given that x equals g of t, y equals h of t. In other words, x and y are functions of t. And we're interested in finding dz dt. We're interested in finding the derivative of z with respect to t. So we need to look at all the branches that start with z and end in t. Well, that's every branch of our tree, but that won't always be the case. And when we look at the derivatives going down the branch, on this top piece we have the partial derivative of z with respect to x. x over t, we have the derivative of x with respect to t. On the other side of the tree, z over y, we have the partial derivative of z with respect to y. For y over t, we have the derivative of y with respect to t. And so what we do is we multiply down those branches, dz dx times dx dt, that's our first product, plus multiply down the other branch, and that gives us our second product. So this tree is a really nice way to remember the chain rule formula. Let's do an example. In this example, we want to find dz dt for z equals x squared y plus 3xy to the fourth, where x of t equals sine of t and y of t equals cosine t. Okay, let's start with our tree. At the very top of the tree, we have z. And z is a function of x and y. Each of those are functions of t. So, we're interested in finding dz dt, so we have to go down all the branches that start with z and end in t. z over x, well that's going to be the partial derivative of z with respect to x. x over t, that's going to be dx dt. Down the other side, we get partial of z with respect to y times dy dt. So the formula for computing our derivative, so the formula that we'll need to compute the derivative dz dt is given as follows. Let's go and compute each of these pieces and then we'll put them back in our formula. So first of all, let's find the partial derivative of z with respect to x. If we look at our original problem, we can compute the partial derivative with respect to x and that turns out to be 2xy plus 3y to the fourth dx dt the derivative of x with respect to t that's going to be 2 cosine 2t by the chain rule from single variable calculus continuing on with our work here dz dy, partial derivative of z with respect to y, that turns out to be x squared plus 12 xy cubed. And the last piece we'll need is dy dt. dy dt will be negative sine t. Okay, so we have all of the pieces that we need. So putting that into our formula, dz dt equals 2 xy plus 3y to the fourth all times 2 cosine 2t plus x squared plus 12xy cubed times a negative sine t. Now it would be really nice to convert everything to be in terms of t and so we could take this one step further. It would get a little bit complicated Okay, for our second example, let's find the partial derivative of z with respect to t for z equals f of x of 
st and y of st. So we've got several layers of this function to consider. At the top of the tree, I'm going to write x. On the next layer down, we notice that now, if we write down the derivatives, z over x, that's going to be the partial derivative of z with respect to x, and x over t, that's going to be the partial derivative of x with respect to t. Going down this other branch, z over y, we've got the partial derivative of z with respect to y, and y over t, we have the partial derivative of y with respect to t. Multiplying down the branches, we get our formula dz dt equals dz dx times dx dt plus dz dy dy dt. And remember that the operation in there we are multiplying. And that would be our final answer.